You know our next guests from their massively popular show, Impractical Jokers, which just kicked off its ninth season. New episodes air Thursday nights on True TV. Let's take a look. This is my dog, Frank, here. Oh, oh. My dog, my dog. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the stop, report. Stop, stop. Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, you know, it talks you through the whole thing there. We have yeah. fake incident reports with diagrams, and we marked where the so places were horrible. affected. On Wednesday, the staff member, Joe, witnessed Frank laying metaphorical pipe <laughs> on Brooklyn. He this is... Yeah, you're a big dude, Yeah, he's man. a big dude. He that is a big dude. Stay. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, come on. Come on, Brooklyn. There you go. Hey. There you go. Hey, hey little one. Look at the dog. <laughs> Brooklyn, we might have to bring you a butt plug next time. <laughs> <laughs> Please welcome back to the show Joe Gatto, James Murray, Brian Quinn, and Prince Herb. How are you, gentlemen? Hey! hey. How you doing, bud? Hi, Seth. How I, have, are you? I have a lot of questions about the clip we just saw, but I do. Uh, last time you were here, there was not uh, Prince Herb. This is a yeah. new uh, moniker. Can you explain how that came about? What's up, Seth? It's so nice to see you, buddy. Um, yeah, this I got punished this season, and they're changing my identity, and it's going to permeate into my real life for the rest of this year. So basically, I don't know if you, if you know this. Herb, where we're from, means like a cornball. So basically, they made me pierced. <laughs> Show him the blank. Show him the blank. <laughs> they pierced my ears. I have to keep these in for 6 to 12 months right now. Um, they're changing the credits of the show. Any press I do, any late night. When I go up on stage to do stand-up, I get called up as Prince Herb right now. This is my, <laughs> it's my new identity. <laughs> you're royal, royalty, buddy. You you're royal. That was very nice of them to put a prince in there. You could have just yeah, yeah. been Herb. Um, so, I mean, I was looking at these and laughing so loud. So you had, I mean, w this bit of the dog groomers is just fantastic. How did you come up with it? And what were people's reactions? That guy was pretty affable about the fact that you said your dog had sex with uh, his. Were all the reactions that nice? Uh, no, not really. We were in Brooklyn, so you got a good range of, of people uh, that came in. But the guys, quite simply, was like, I was very proud of them because it was a very smart and easy punishment. Sometimes they're just very simple, and simple is the best. I worked as at a doggy daycare, when people came to pick up their dog, they planted this English Mastiff named Frank there, this huge dog. And I just had to very simply say, uh, oh, one more thing before you go, my dog <laughs> your dog, and slide <laughs> over an incident report that they had made these graphics of like that outlawed exactly what happened and take people through it. I mean, and, the incident uh, reports are, I mean, just, so this is, this one, you know, pretty basic, that lets you know what happened. Yeah, that's just yeah. the basic. But this, you guys, I mean, I don't think. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Some poor person had to come and look at that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was, was great because you would, you would watch people go through a range of emotions, right? Some would be angry, some would be confused, some would be just out, outright baffled. But at the end of the day, I mean, dogs will be dogs. Like, it's not Joe's fault, you know? Hey, it's nature. You can't be mad at me, you know? <laughs> now, I am shocked that you guys can still um, pull one over on each other, uh, but this did happen uh, with Paul McCartney. Uh, explain oh, yes. the prank and, and, and tell me exactly how surprised you were that it, it worked. Yes, well, we, we, we have the show, Seth, called Dinner Party, and we have guests on. We've had lots of great guests. Uh, and uh, we heard that Paul, Sir Paul, was a fan of Impractical Jokers, so I reached out to him and asked if he would uh, come on Dinner Party, and he sent a little video in saying hi to us and stuff like that. It was, it was one of the most amazing moments uh, in our lives. Yeah. Unfortunately, it wasn't really Paul McCartney. <laughs> <laughs> I hired the worst Paul McCartney impersonator to come in. And uh, some of these guys, I don't want to say who, Seth, but they bought it uh, hook, line, and sinker. All right, so now for our viewers at home, we're going to show this clip and be honest with yourselves. Would you think this is Paul McCartney? Let's take a look. Oh, impractical jokers. Oh, my God. I just wanted to say that I'm a big fan of your program. <laughs> and I'm here to confirm that Q is indeed my favorite joker. Is that real? No, reminds me of Ringo. Uh, I... In all the best ways. I just feel that Q is the Paul of the group. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I, I mean, mean, when you see it now, 
I need to defend myself, Seth. Oh, you I don't. Defend myself. <laughs> okay, I've seen this man my whole life. I seen him in concert a few years ago. I know, I know all about him. I'm a huge fan. Here's the thing: I did not want to. I suspended this. I didn't want to. In my head, I'm like, this man is falling on hard times. He's <laughs> he's had multiple strokes recently. He, he he's 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 put on the pounds. But I I was like, if this is really him, I cannot insult him. So I just bought into the fact that it was him but it, it's not fair of you all to mock me <laughs> yeah it is I, I, no. i'll tell you what Seth. if there's a one percent chance that if that was actually paul mccartney we had to 100 percent say that that was paul mccartney <laughs> yeah we had to we know right. joys. also right. in the like long life of things you guys have done that's embarrassing it's not like anybody's gonna remember you thought that was paul mccartney i think you're in the <laughs> <laughs> Um, hey, Mur, I have a question. First of all, congratulations. You, you just got married. Boom. Yes, and, thank uh, you, sir. I, I have a genuine question. Like, obviously, your wife knows the world uh, that she's marrying into. Does she live in dread yeah. that you will become victim of, uh, of one of these, um, uh, of the imagination of your three friends? No, sir. They, they, they use her against me. Uh, my wife uh, has a degree in nursing, so a few weeks ago I came home and the guys had a, uh, uh, a urologist there, and they put a catheter in me, and then they had my nurse wife <laughs> take it out of me after they made me ride a zip line holding my own catheter. Yeah. So she's, she's loving it. We're actually, we're actually using a lot of Murray's uh, holes for punishments here because we also made him the, the, <laughs> it, the national spokesperson for My Shiny Hiney, which is a, uh, a real product. Yeah, and we I, it out I, this is a real product, a real billboard. Uh, yeah. Kiss dark cavernous buttholes goodbye. <laughs> that was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that Seth, stands uh, in New Jersey right now. Right now. <laughs> uh, I'm the face of anal bleaching. Don't, <laughs> Not don't just tell the me face. It should best, be noted. We have the best job uh, in the world. The happy face of. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hey, uh, I, I want to ask you guys a last question because uh, we're running a lot of time. You had a, in February, uh, which it should be noted, obviously, was right before uh, the whole world uh, went to hell in a handbasket. You had two things happen uh, that then stopped happening. You had a movie premiere, um, and you also had an impractical uh, Joker's Cruise. Uh, yeah, yeah. We're, we're single handedly responsible for about 100,000 cases <laughs> of COVID. We just, we just super spread. We super spread. That's, That's what we do. That's what we do. Yeah. Yeah. We, um, have single -handedly, we have single-handedly ended both cruises and cinema. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of, Seth, this is our third time on. Where do you, do you want my address for the third mug, or <laughs> where, do we, where do we get that? We are yeah, going to give you a third mug. Uh, you know, obviously, one mug for the group. Um, yeah. uh, hey, gentlemen, uh, for, I want to end by saying uh, congratulations uh, both on season nine and on season 10. You guys got picked up. I mean, it is the hardest thing in the world this year to do shows for 10 seasons. You guys deserve it. Uh, it's very clear you love what you do because otherwise, what on earth would you be doing it for? <laughs> very true. Very true, Seth. Thanks. We're, uh, yeah, we're excited. It's, uh, it's been a great ride. And you know, people seem to enjoy it, so we're just going to keep doing it till they, uh, you know, bury me. Uh, well, uh, congratulations, guys. Always a pleasure. Come back soon. It's great talking to you. Thank you, Seth. Thank you, Seth. Impractical Jokers airs Thursday nights on True TV.